We have a first cousin, her name is Kathy, and she has been our number one detractor. Kathy's been vocal from the very beginning against us. We're not sure why. She tells us it's inappropriate, she doesn't understand, she doesn't support this, she'll never support this, she'll never be on board with this, and she doesn't want to see it. I think Kathy might be jealous because she likes Michael. Kathy has had a string of failed relationships. Kathy hasn't had that great of luck when it comes to love. She sees two people genuinely happy, in love, and she gets triggered by that and would like to rain on our parade. I just wish that she would let us live our lives. People are always going to hate on you for doing something right or wrong. It doesn't matter. I'm still going to do what I do. And how have your children reacted to this? Um, my youngest was fine. He kind of knew something was going on and he was cool about it. But my older two, they're teenagers, mm -hmm. they were crying. They were angry. They said, why are you so weird? Can't, uh, this is wrong. And they've actually... <laughs> my kids have come around. My kids have come around. And my oldest signed our petition. And I was pretty impressed by that. Well, joining us now is Dr. Charles Sophie. Uh, he is board certified in three clinical specialties, adult psychiatry, child and adolescent psychiatry, and family practice as well as being the medical director for the Department of Child and Family Services here in Los Angeles, which is the largest agency in the country. Dr. Sophie, do you have concerns here? Oh, like I can't even begin to tell you. <laughs> I can't tell if I'm more upset and disturbed that they enjoy this or that they're damaging their children. Right, and damaging their children in what way? Well, they're breaking a law, and you know you're openly breaking a law, and you're setting that example. That's just even the start of child abuse. Well, There's other saying. deeper issues. It's child abuse. Because you have to live by the law. We should live by the law. You obviously don't want to do that. No, we're trying to petition to get the law changed. Okay, but there's a law, and you're breaking it, and your children see it. We haven't admitted to any section in the state of Utah. I understand. It's still incest. It's considered incest in Utah. That's what I mean. And you live there with your children. Yeah. And we, what if we move? Well, then move. And then we might. Gonna, okay. <laughs> move. We might. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah. That's but, okay. Uh, People can be angry. It's cool. I understand. I, we're not, you know. You I, like this. I, don't, I wouldn't say I like it. Yeah, you do. Or you wouldn't <laughs> put that picture up. I'll answer that by saying I'm not ashamed of it. We're not breaking the law. In Utah? No. How is it breaking the law? He'll tell you. <laughs> How... <laughs> Well, Being married in Colorado does not mean we're breaking the law in Utah. No, it, it really doesn't. It just means, it just let's clarify, you can't get married to your first cousin in the state of Utah. And you can't have any sexual relations with your first cousin in the state of Utah. Okay? We don't recognize out-of-state marriages, but we're not, we're not having a wedding in Utah. We're not legally married in Utah. Mm -hmm. There's nothing illegal happening. Does that make sense? Okay, also, now hold on a minute. Now, I, I said I was not going to press this out of respect, but now don't just turn around and insult my intelligence. Yeah. Let's not get too self-righteous about what you're not doing in Utah. Yeah. Right. Let's just leave it. Let's just leave it alone. Okay. We'll leave it alone. What What you're saying is they are modeling felonious behavior. Correct. 